There are a lot of reasons we do not trust our government. Our leaders and political representatives have let us down a lot of times. They have turned back on their words and promises more times than we can imagine. But what conspiracy theorists have in mind for the government is on a different note. They also distrust their government but not because they are looking for some political gains but eyeing some long-term gains. People doubt their government for invading their privacy. They doubt their government of faking its achievements, fabricating attack on themselves in order to justify something else. However, one thing which remains at the cornerstone of many conspiracy theories is the government's questionable morality in conducting some of their actions in secret, that is, the presence of mysterious secret bases. These secret research places, although do exist in the fabric of reality, are probably not carrying as much dread as projected in movies or by conspiracy theorists, like strange experiments involving ones on living things and even humans. secret researchers and ufos and what not the most infamous among these secret and exaggerated government bases was area 51 in nevada another such widely popular secret phantom base is al oblique 499 supposedly lying 200 feet below the earth's surface somewhere in england it is said to be working on creating genetically enhanced humans to research on mind control and or creating sleeper cells the agents who could be activated anytime If you did not find all the ingredients to cook a conspiracy theory yet then behold they are also said to have a connection with the illuminati another story that was cooking in the heated south african deserts of kalahari according to this story there exists a mysterious phantom base called the camp 13 according to rumors the south african military saw an aircraft in the area and shot at the airborne vessel The craft crashed in the Kalahari desert and the occupants were according to some theories were wearing shiny tights. One of the occupants who was still alive at the time the South African military reached the craft was taken to the camp 13 and we have no further details as to what happened to them then. Another more specifically extraterrestrial secret base called the Dulce base is located in the wilds of New Mexico within the Arculeta Mesa which lies on the Colorado New Mexico border near the small town of Dulce. Now that's a very specific address for something that is supposed to be secretly located. Nonetheless, conspiracy theorists do not let technicalities get in their way. Its origin was claimed to be discovered by a local electrician who had picked up radio signals in the area amid the government and aliens. Not to mention a local electrician had apparently not only identified a supposed highly classified communication over radio but also had a working understanding of alien communication system to identify that it was indeed an alien signal. Another man banking on the electrician's deductions came forward and claimed to be a former employee at the Dulce base. He even went into specifics claiming that the base had seven levels and the United States government was involved in a joint operation between the United States and the aliens. He even went on the prophecy that there were thousands of aliens even living there in the base. The aliens were actually conducting experiments on humans there in the base in exchange for alien tech with the US government. There have been a lot of other claims ranging from a secret base beneath a whole airport and a phantom site containing man-eater aliens and much more. The existence of government's secret bases might be true to an extent. It means that the government might be conducting some research in secrecy for security concerns and not let any of the intel fall into enemy hands but all the other sci-fi claims seem a bit far too much. Still, no amount of proofs or otherwise will do anything to deter any conspiracy theorist from his or her beliefs, but we might still find some really amusing stories to tell. Thanks for watching the video. Good day. Bye-bye.